Yo, YouTube, what's going on? AB Academy was popping. It's your boy AB. As you can see, we in a different scene. Once again, man, I appreciate y'all for tuning back into my channel. I appreciate all the love, all the support, all the positivity that y'all been bringing to this channel, man. It means the utmost. It means absolutely a lot, bro. So today, man, I'm dropping a special video. Y'all know that I'm a YouTuber. I love YouTube. I love encouraging YouTube because it's such a lucrative, amazing opportunity. So today, I'm about to tell y'all, like, why it's a cheat code to be a YouTuber. Y'all probably know some of these. Some of these are probably going to be new. But I'm trying to touch on stuff that I personally feel, I personally go through. Y'all know how this channel go, bro. So, why is being a YouTuber an ultimate cheat code? Number one, bro, let's talk about the discounts, the free stuff, the opportunities that you have as a YouTuber. Okay, cool. So, for example, me, bro. I'm a YouTuber in Atlanta. I have over 800,000 subscribers. If I go somewhere, bro, people just give me stuff, bro. Like, I kid you not, I don't know the last time I paid for clothes. I know this sounds crazy. I'm talking from socks to pants to shirts to undershirts to underwear, bro. Like, you do not have to pay for anything when you're an influencer, bro. All you got to do is do good business and pass on good vibes and good energy, which I know y'all is going to do because y'all on this channel. It's all about good, positive energy, positive vibes. Clothes is one thing, bro. I don't remember the last time I paid for clothes. Jewelry. As you can see from the jewelry I got on, bro, all of it is real jewelry and all of it comes at discounted prices just for promotion, bro. I know that might sound crazy, absurd, but jewelry companies will willingly give you things in exchange for promotion, bro. Promotion for them is eyes. My audience is people who buy jewelry, you feel me? So they like, okay, cool. If I give AB this, AB gonna put it on his platform. AB gonna bring us at least five to 10 customers and we gonna get that investment back easy, you feel me? So clothes, jewelry, shoes. When I tell y'all, bro, I didn't got everything and damn near like so much stuff from furniture. I literally got a furniture company, a well-known furniture company in my emails right now trying to send me furniture from my house in exchange for promotion, bro. So, like, I'm just trying to explain to y'all why this YouTube shit is so lucrative and why you need to start your YouTube literally today. Okay, cool. Number two, you get access to the best people and the best things and all of those things and, like, in that nature. Let me explain what this means. So, say you run a business, say you got a YouTube channel. YouTube is a business, right? If you're a big YouTuber, bro, you don't have to go find people. People will find you. You feel me? You're, pro you're, you're putting you're putting good shit on your channel. People going to be like, hmm, this shit good. Let me reach out to him. You feel me? You get channel analysts. You get thumbnail designers. You get the best editors. They're literally going to come to you. And it's totally off of YouTube. For example, I got my community, AB Academy, right? So since I got my community, AB Academy, I know who the best people is to run it. You feel me? It's people that's running the top communities that do a good job because I'm all about doing a good job for y'all. You feel me? So I'm in talks right now with people that can run communities, community managers to help me on the back end, to help me provide the most value for you. So I hit the, bro, no cap. I kid you not. I hit one of the top 10 best people up about running communities. And guess what? They texted me back instantly, bro. Why did they text me back instantly? Because I'm a recommendable person, you feel me? Like, I provide good value, I do good business, you feel me? My face car clean, they hit me back instantly, you feel me? Not to mention, I have followers, you feel me? We're not gonna skip that fact, you feel me? When you got followers, when you got a name, when you got a brand, it's more easily to hit you back, you feel me? A lot of people hit me up, bro, and a lot of people say, yo, what the fuck am I supposed to say to yo? You know what I mean? Like, but if somebody with a million followers was to say, yo, I might be like, I, I'm going to still be like, nigga, what the fuck are you talking about? But I might be like, hmm, what is he talking about? Let me see. You feel me? And that's just how the world works, bro. You feel me? So you got to build your personal brand. You got to build your personal everything just so you can get on that level of, okay, he talking about something. He's automatically talking about something. When you got, when you got that social media presence, bro. People take you way, way more serious, you feel me? And it's fucking sad to say, but that's just how the world works, bro. You know, you just got to use it to your advantage. Why would you not use it to your advantage? What is the point of not doing it? You know what I'm saying? And shit, girls. Let's talk about girls. This one even on my head, but we're going to talk about it. If you hit a girl up right now on Instagram and you got 100, 100 followers, no pictures, she not texting you back, bro. But if you hit a girl on Instagram right now and you got 100,000 followers, you got... 20 pictures, you know what I'm saying? You got engagement under your picture. She see what you do. She see what you like. She automatically she automatically going to hit you back because she can 
kind of put the face to the person. She see that you are on your passion, on your path, kind of in a sense. You know what I mean? It sounds bad, but then again, it's the world we live in, bro. So that's another reason to get your personal YouTube, your personal brand popping, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm trying to tell y'all is being a YouTuber comes with so many more perks other than the stuff you see, the financial value, other than the views. Bro, this shit is a real life cheat code. Like I told you, I get everything for free. If I hit somebody up, they gonna hit back. Like I be in DMs with people, y'all y'all probably be like, damn, what the fuck? Just because of the personal brand, bro. And lastly, number three, this is the biggest, the biggest, the biggest point of this video. And then I'm gonna um, section this in to some shit that I got going on right now. This is the biggest point of the video is trust. When you've been doing YouTube for a long time, people have been growing with you, people have been seeing your stops, seeing your next steps. You get this certain amount of trust, bro. You know what I'm saying? As long as you don't fuck your face card up. Don't fake don't fuck your face card up. Don't give people some shit that they don't need. For example, like I don't even take brand deals on my channel no more. You feel me? Because the brand deals that was coming, it'd be shit that I don't even do. Like a gaming company dead ass hit me up, tried to throw me thousands and thousands of dollars to promote their game. On my channel. I don't even fucking play games. You know what I'm saying? And I would say the name, but I don't want to, you know what I mean? OD. But it was a mobile game that they was trying to put on the ad on my channel. And I'm like, bro, I don't even play games on the console. I don't even play games on mobile. No, I don't want to do that. So when that shit happened, bro, I kind of thought, I'm like, I don't want to, I don't want to be selling shit on my channels that I don't even fucking do. Right? So from there on, bro, I'm like, I'm not even taking brand deals no more. I know if I would have told that the people that I know, they probably been like, bro, what is you talking about? Like, uh, no bullshit, bro. No bullshit. Like, on some no bullshit shit. I could be making an extra $10,000 a month just by taking brand deals. And I'm like, nah, I don't want to do that. Because I don't want to I don't want to fuck my, my face card up by selling shit on my channel that I don't even fucking use. You know what I mean? Like, it'd be different if I use this. For example, they not even paying me to say this, bro. They are not paying me. I don't. If they are not paying me, but they send me free. They send me free products, and I actually like their products, so I don't mind. Oh yeah, this shit right here, good. It'd be different if somebody was paying me, and I don't even use it, and I'm all in y'all face like, hey, buy this, buy this. You know what I'm saying? It's just not me. I don't fuck with that. You feel me? So to contra to contradict, not contradict, but to um, on the flip side of this, I promote my own shit because. Obviously, I use my own shit. You know what I mean? So, I promote and say, hey, buy the merch. Because guess what? I wear the merch every day. You see what I'm saying? Like, I wear the merch every day. So, I'm saying, buy my merch. You know what I'm saying? Because not just is it good for me. I'm actually doing this shit. You feel me? So, everything that I promote, I actually do. You know what I'm saying? I don't take no brand deals. If I do take a brand deal, just know. That I actually use that shit. You see what I'm saying? So I say buy the merch. Or I say join my academy. Join AB Academy. Where I teach you how to do the YouTube shit. If y'all was in the hey, if y'all was in the last call. Y'all know how that shit went, man. That shit was so lit, bro. Y'all got hella value. But y'all see what I'm saying, though, bro. I don't do none of that so I can keep my trust. The reason why you won't trust in this YouTube shit, bro. Is because it's going to take you so far. You feel me? When you got trust with your subscribers. Your subscribers know that. All right, the next video, I know he talking about some good shit because he always talking about some good shit. You know that um, if AB tell me something, AB ain't going to do me wrong. You know what I'm saying? If AB tell me to go here, he ain't going to do me wrong. You know what I'm saying? And that shit is so big because these brands need that. These brands going to come on here trying to sell you some shit. And you like, I don't know him. But if my favorite influencer say something about it, I know it's good. You know what I'm saying? So that's why it's good to keep your trust with your subscribers, bro. You feel me? So that's the three biggest tips. I think that was three. It might have been four or five. But that's the three biggest ways why I say that YouTube, being a YouTuber is the ultimate cheat code, bro. So this is your sign to code. Go and be a YouTuber. And if you need help being a YouTuber, make sure you click the first link in the description. It's going to take you to AB Academy. Where I personally, I personally hold your hand and show you how to do this YouTube content shit, bro. Our last call in there, we do calls every week. Our last call in there was so amazing. We had a strategy call where you drop your YouTube, we tell you what to do. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. It's the best investment 
for upcoming YouTubers. I kid you not. It's the best investment for upcoming YouTubers. We constantly provide an extra, extra value in there every day. I'm in there trying to get everybody right, trying to do everything. It's not no, you come in there and shit, you just in there. Hell nah, you talking to me personally, you feel me? And like I've been telling y'all, like the second, the second point of this video is you can get the best people, access to the best people. I've been on the phone, I've been on calls with the best people in the content space trying to make this shit the best shit ever, bro. You feel me? So y'all go ahead, invest in yourself, become a YouTuber. I kid you not, it's the best opportunity out right now. Build your personal brand. Hit that link in the description. Let me help you out with it, man. I appreciate y'all for tuning into this video. AB Academy is out.